Hello YouTube. In this video, we will discuss about dark biotechnology, which is all about using biotechnology for bad stuff. It can include making bioweapon, genetically enhancing people in a way that's harmful. It's important to balance the potential benefits of biotechnology with concerns about its misuse. Scientists play a crucial role in preventing misuse of technology, and they should take ownership of this problem. Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. If you are new here, welcome, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic. What is dark biotechnology? Dark biotechnology, also known as gray biotechnology or dual-use biotechnology, is all about using biotechnology for bad stuff. This can include making bioweapons, genetically enhancing people in a way that's harmful, or using biotechnology to spy on or control populations. Bioweapons, a concern. A big worry with dark biotechnology is the creation of bioweapons. These are things like viruses or bacteria that are made to hurt people, animals, or plants. Thanks to biotechnology, it's possible to make these agents even more dangerous and contagious. And with the ability to genetically engineer these biological agents, there's a real risk of them being used as weapons. Genetic Enhancement, Worrying Concern Another concern is using genetic enhancement for harmful purposes. Genetic enhancement is all about using biotechnology to improve or change someone's genetic makeup. While this can be good for health and well-being, it can also be bad if it's used in a way that harms individuals or society, like making designer babies or super soldiers. Spying and Espionage Dark biotechnology also includes using biotechnology to spy on or control populations. Biotechnology can be used to collect and analyze a lot of data on people, including their genetic information, and this data can be used to monitor and control populations. This is a huge concern because it can be used to target or discriminate against certain groups of people. Impactful Science Thus Far the field of life sciences and biotechnology has the power to make a big impact on humanity. We've come a long way from just cataloging what's in nature to now being able to create new forms of life. Most of the work done in this area has been positive, like clean water and vaccines, but there is also the potential for negative consequences. Biotechnology can be used for bad things like bioweapons, and that's something to be aware of. It's important to balance the potential benefits of biotechnology with concerns about its misuse. We don't want rules and restrictions that slow down good research and development, but we also don't want biotechnology to be used to hurt people. Finding the right balance is key. Dual-use biological resources Biological materials that can cause harm can be found in various institutions such as hospitals, academic institutions, pharmaceutical companies, and government establishments, both civilian and military. These materials may potentially be released into the environment due to accidents, negligence, or deliberate intent. However, evidence shows that the likelihood of human infection as a result of these releases is very low especially compared to the likelihood of contracting infections naturally or suffering harm from other types of accidents or criminal or terrorist actions. The public's disproportionate fear of these infections reflects a lack of understanding of risk, hazard, and probability, and sensationalism by the media. Benefits still outweighs risks. The research done in these institutions has led to many benefits for society, such as improved health outcomes, better sanitation, advances in medicine and vaccines, and increased safety and efficiency in food production. Biotechnology also holds the potential for many future benefits, including mitigating the impact of climate change, improving agricultural yields in poor areas, developing new materials, 
and discovering cures for diseases. Balancing with regulations. Balancing the potential benefits of biotechnology with concerns about misuse is a challenge. In the UK, most microbiological research is conducted in civilian organizations, with only a small fraction done by defense laboratories. Research activities are regulated by various bodies such as the Health and Safety Executive and the Home Office. However, more regulations such as psychological profiling of lab staff or rigid assessment programs may not further reduce the already low probability of an event, but rather alienate well-motivated staff and stifle research. A more effective approach would be to foster a supportive community among scientists and staff, making it easier to detect early signs of problems and promoting better scientific outcomes. Ownership and active awareness Scientists play a crucial role in preventing misuse of technology, and they should take ownership of this problem and actively communicate and explain their activities to the public. However, many scientists have been reluctant to do so. Improving education and awareness of scientists, the media, and the public, through teaching materials, seminars, conferences, and publications, could help address this issue. Scientists should also be encouraged to communicate their research to the public through the media, which can improve understanding and reduce unwarranted fears. However, how to achieve this in the face of economic realities and a 24-7 media society remains a question. Guidelines needed Because of all these concerns, there's a push for more regulation and oversight of biotechnology. Governments and international organizations are starting to create rules and guidelines for how biotechnology should be used. And there's a need for more research to develop ways to protect against potential bioweapons. Concluding Perspectives Taken together, dark biotechnology is the use of biotechnology for malicious or harmful purposes, such as the development of bioweapons, genetic enhancement that is harmful to individuals or society, or the use of biotechnology for surveillance or control of populations. The potential for misuse of biotechnology is high and it is important to address this concern through regulations, guidelines, and investment in countermeasures research.